okay let's first run this okay this is a window you can see plus plus so we can see we are creating few concentric circles wherever two lines are intersecting okay and there is a problem in not only intersecting where it is supposed to be intersected that is on a projected point also it is drawing this okay so anyway so this is just a different kind of patterns anyway so the thing is how the concentric circles are drawn i want only single point not multiple circles okay so where i have to change this here it is actually drawing multiple points uh, multiple circles here so i don't want this okay so i will simply comment that and i want only a single small circle to be represented as point okay that is enough for me now as you see a line there is another line as you see that is intersecting and as you see these two line segments are actually not intersecting but still there is a point or circle representing that it is supposed to be intersected at this point so this is called projected intersection okay now if i want this it's okay but suppose i don't want this point to be drawn when it is not actually intersecting for example here also as you see i see two projected points now how i can how can i avoid them okay so today's discussion is about how we can avoid these two points to be drawn when it is not actually now as you see these two points it outside the bound of this line outside the bound of this line it is inside the bound of this line this point is inside the bound of this line but this is outside the bound of this line so our logic will be this point will be drawn only if this point is within the bound of both the lines okay now the question is how we can develop a logic to check the bound so first can we display the bounding box or bounds of this line so bounds means a rectangle that encapsulate or cover the whole line is it possible so to do so let's go and check how the actually line is being drawn here so as i see this line is being drawn here so line is just drawn here so can we draw the rectangle that contains this line is it possible so let's see meme dc dot draw rect is there any option to draw a rectangle draw uh, rect rectangle so uh, draws a rectangle yes it draws a rectangle what does it take? it takes a rectangle as a reference there is a overload x1 y1 x2 y2 and we already have all those right so we can just pass x2 uh, x1 y1 x2 y2 and i am thinking this will probably draw a rectangle okay let's see bounding rectangle uh, it is drawing the bounding rectangle but the line is not visible actually i think something is happening let's do something the reverse draw the rectangle first and then draw the line yes now the rectangle is drawn then the line is drawn and here but there is a problem it is overlapping and this point is not properly visible uh, and that's why the circle i have drawn the circle is up drawn is drawn. so the rectangle is not working properly because the rectangle actually is opaque the rectangle is opaque that's why anything behind that is not visible so instead of uh, drawing the rectangle using the ready-made rectangle function i don't know why this rectangle is opaque 
rectangle is outlined by using the current pane and field. Uh, yeah, that's it. So it is filled, filled uh, by using the current brass. Refer the rectangle in the window circuit operation. So if I don't want the fill, in that case, what we have to do? I have to make the brass transparent. There is one way that I can make the brass transparent so that uh, this is not be like that. So uh, that is another way I can do that. But instead of that, can I make my own rectangle? So for example, I have a rectangle. So this is, for example, x1 comma y1 sorry x1 comma y1 and this is x2 comma y2 so instead of calling their ready-made rectangle function if i call four draw line points right so it will also so what will be the coordinate of this it will be the x is x2 and the y is y1 right the y has not changed so this is y1 but the x is x2 and what will be the coordinates of this this will be x1 comma y2 right so i can use these four points to draw the rectangle without using their so can we do that yes for that uh, i can do something like this instead of this instead of this i can draw meme dc dot move to move to move to say x1 comma y1 and from there i want to go to x2 y1 right x2 y1 that is one thing one line i am i have been able to draw the next will be from x2 y1 to x2 y2 okay next this line x2 y2 x1 y2 and next x1 x1 y2 to x1 y1 so if i draw that the rectangle should be drawn oh my god why is why the rectangle is not drawn why the rectangle is not drawn properly I'm expecting this to be drawn. Why not this? So if I comment this, if I comment this, nothing is drawn. Why is happening in such a way? Where it is behaving like that? Why it is behaving like that? Why? X1, Y1. Oh, this will be line 2 this will be line to silly mistake this will be line to okay got it now we are able to now good 
we are able to draw the bounding box. Actually, we can refactor this to a separate function called draw bounding box, something like that, but forget about this. So I have a line, I have another line, as you see, this point, this point is outside the, this point is inside the bounding box of this, but this is outside the bounding box of this. In such scenarios, this point is not supposed to be drawn, okay? So how can we check that the point lies between the bounding box of both the lines, okay, for this case also? This point is inside the bounding box of this, but this is outside the bounding box of this. In that case, this point is not supposed to be drawn. So we have to check that the point is inside the bounds. So now the question is where the point is drawn and there we have to do some modification. Yes, here we are actually drawing the actual circle with five radius to represent a point. Can we check that this point, <coughs> this point, <coughs> this point is inside the bounds of this. So we can like say, if, if, uh, is, inside bounds suppose this is a function and it takes the point and the line so if the point is inside the bounds of l1 it returns true otherwise it returns false and it is within the bound of l2 as well it means if the point is inside the bounds of both the points, only then draw this circle. You got this logic? Okay. Now, this, this is giving error because this function was de not defined. Okay. Now, this sub these functions are supposed to be inside a separate geometry utility classes, but it will make more complications. So, what I will do? I will make this function locally inside the view class itself right now but all these functions like uh, whatever line line intersection all this type of geometry related functions should be moved to a separate uh, function okay so let's do it wherever this is defined uh, this is in line in the header okay we can do it immediately so it will be again in line and it will be returning a bool that is true or false. And where it is? Okay, it is it is not inside the view class. It is already in a separate geometry.kernel.h and it is a global function. Okay, so it will take a point. It will take a point 2D, okay, P. And it will take a line okay so right now return false for example so at least in this case it, it is supposed to compile and it will always return false so what is the problem here if okay so this is one so what is the okay i have to give a semicolon here Now, if I run this, uh, the bounding box is drawn, but the point is not drawn because it is always returning false. So, in in every case, the point is not drawn. Okay, in any case, the point is not drawn. So, the video is going to be longer, more than fifteen minutes. So, let us stop this and re-record another video where I actually implement this thing. Okay, thank you.